Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Violin Textures by Emergence Audio. Emergence Audio have taken a collection of elongated violin articulations and processed them through the same infinite motion engine found in Quantum to create a beautiful instrument that serves as an excellent tool for underscore or as a beautiful ornament to your emotional tracks. Violin Textures is compatible with both the Free Contact Player or the full version of Contact 6.6 or later. It includes 1.91 GB of source material across 12 traditional but uniquely performed articulations and 100 presets across 5 preset categories. Violin Textures is available from Emergence Audio for $79, but a time of review was available for the introductory price of $59. And those of you who have watched our Quantum review will be familiar with this interface as it's the same infinite motion interface as is found in Quantum. Except this time, instead of having synth-based source material, we're working with violin textures. So these are unique violin uh articulations that have really been extended and elongated. So the notes that you'll find here are much longer than normal, sometimes as much as 30 or more seconds. Um, and the unique thing is each, each note is different. So as you hold a note, um, you'll move to another note and you'll notice that it's a completely different, it's in the same playing style, but it's played completely differently. So if you're holding, for instance, a traditional triad, you'll get this moving, evolving texture that's not only created because of the individual notes being elongated and having movement within them, but because each note is different. So we're gonna play through all sorts of sounds today and really give you a feel for what's in violin textures. But just to get you started, you'll see that within the instrument itself, you have a main interface where you can actually just, it's kind of a, an Annette patch that you can start from scratch on, and then you'll have presets in four different categories. Correlated, which we're gonna start out with, those are the textures that you have the same um, articulation loaded in both sides of the layered engine in both layers, but they're different sounding. So they've been programmed differently to really create you know, a, a unique combination across that same sound in both engines. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, in the dimensions, you have the individual articulations themselves. So this is really the original source material that you can play with instead of having to just process it through the engine. You have infinite pads, which are exactly what they sound like, elongated pads using the same engine, and then pulses, which uses the LFO that you can sync or unsync. So let's just dive right in with some of the correlated patches. You can see that right now we've already got the reverse correlated loaded, so let's play through that. see just a really unique sound and you can see that as we're moving between layers you have the LFO here that's actually doing that for us so as you play it's going back and forth and you'll notice that those sounds are really not only evolving but you're getting different textures different layers to the sound so let's go with um, the detached correlated which I think that's the tache I think that's the articulation we're playing let's find out Interesting. Yes, that attache 
Really, really nice. Let's go with the Flatando Muted Correlated. going to notice that I'm going to hold these notes out a little bit longer than I would tend to do in normal demos, because obviously with those elongated articulations, you really want to hear the nuance and the movement. This is particularly geared at underscore work or ambient tracks where you really want, you know, you want that bed of that, that, that under bed of sound, but you want it to move and you want it to breathe. That's really what this is about. So we're going to hold these a little bit longer than we normally would. So that's why you'll hear me hold some of these chords for a, for probably a lot longer than I would normally do. Here's another flatando. Instead of this time muted, we're going with the regular flatando. That's not instant inspiration. I don't know what is. That is just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, imagine just holding that down as kind of a bed that you can do a cello solo on top of or a piano solo, some instrumental piano. I mean, that's just perfect. All right. Normal muted. Again, just really beautiful. All right, let's jump down to the, I'm not exactly sure how to say this, Punta Diarco. Forgive me in YouTube land if I murdered that. <laughs> let's see what we've got. Really, really, really cool. And let's jump down to the soul pots. So let's start with the muted. And let's jump down to the regular Soltasto.
just really, really lovely. Really lovely. And you can see you've got the LFO that's just moving back and forth here. Currently, it's not synced to my DAW, but you can do that. You can just simply hit the sync button. You've got your rate here where you can change the rate. Currently it's at four bars, but you can go all the way down to 130 second triplets. Um, you can change that, of course, your wave pattern to sine, triangle, saw, square, your random. And of course, any of the controls that you see here, um, everything from the filters to the resonance and pan, all of that can be controlled with the LFO. You just simply have to click the little button to let it know, hey, we want you to be controlled by the LFO. And once you do that, you can just tell it that you want it to only go so far. So I'm setting the amount to say you've got to go in this range or I'm opening it to make it a wider range. So, you know, there's just a lot of options here. Your effects, you can do the exact same thing. So if you want to, um, you know, modulate some distortion or saturation, you can turn that on, simply click the button and tell it how far you want it to go. Super simple interface. We'll play with that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and move over to the dimensions. So these are the original articulations, just in a really stripped down, unprocessed form. That's really beautiful. It's like a detache reversed. Really, really nice. Let's jump down to the Flatando dimensions. That's just gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. That's gorgeous. Let's jump down to the normal. Mm, just so beautiful. You can really hear that. I mean, that's just, <laughs> if you're, if you're a document, if you're a person that scores documentaries, this is documentary underscore gold right here. All right. The soul pot muted. And let's jump down to the tremolo. Really, really lovely. 
And, you know, you've got your basic controls here, your ADSR, your cutoff and your resonance. You could choose whether that's a high pass or low pass filter. And of course, you have your effects here as well with a number of convolutionary verbs. I mean, a large number of convolutionary verbs. So let's go ahead and jump down to the pads. This is really where the num the highest number of articulations are found, or excuse me, of presets are found. There's just a large number of pads here. So let's see what we've got. Starting with a time for peace. And I think it's really fun to look at the different layers in the engine as well in light of this. So for instance, right now we're in the infinite pads. You can see on the left-hand side, we're using Soltasto and then the Soltasto muted. But then let's go to another pad, for instance, adjusting to change. And we'll find that now we have two completely different articulations. So we have the tremolo and the solpont. Let's see what that comes up with. That's my favorite one yet. That is absolutely gorgeous. Adjusting to change. Beautiful. All right, let's try at the hull. And you'll notice that I don't, I don't know if you were paying attention, but you should watch these waveforms as I'm playing because just then, as long as I held that down, then I don't know, that might've been 15 seconds, something like that. We were just to about this point. So maybe the 20 to 25% mark through the entire, uh, articulation. So that's pretty phenomenal when you think about just how long those notes are being played for. Let's go to bags of strings. Are you watching that waveform? Look at that. On the Soltasto, we're just now to the halfway point. On the Normal, we're not even there yet. And here's what's so interesting about that. It's not just the fact that they're so long, but it's the fact that each of these are a different length. So what that means is the longer you hold it down, you literally will never get the same sound twice as long as you're holding it down because this one will cycle before the next one. And so by the time this one ends, the Soltasto is already maybe to this point, which means you're now, instead of combining the beginning of Normal with the beginning of Soltasto, you're combining the beginning of Normal with maybe 15 to 
in this little Tasto. So, you know, the, the infinite motion engine, it really is true. You're getting just an infinite amount of textures and evolutions with this. Let's jump down to Beneath the Breeze. That's really beautiful. That Flotando with the Sulpont. Mm, beautiful. Let's jump down to Dancing in the Sun. Let's see what that one's about. It's just so gorgeous. It's like a string library that's not a string library. It's just so neat. I, I am probably my favorite my favorite kind of instrument. Um, I would say, obviously, just like everyone else, probably are strings and synth libraries. And this kind of marries those two together. And to me, there's nothing better than a good boutique string library. And so this is even like beyond that. It's a boutique string library that has synth-like sensibilities. It's just really, really, really great. Fluttering through. These are my favorite, definitely. I mean, the the correlated, the dimensions and the pulses, you know, all great. But my goodness, the pads are just next level. These are some of the best pads. Oh, my goodness. And they're not just pads. Again, it's like a boutique string library uh, disguised as a pad. Hibernation. I don't know if you could hear that, but oh my goodness, that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's, it's super subtle, super quiet, but oh wow, that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous texture. I will turn that up a little bit in post-production just to make sure you can hear it. It's very, very, very quiet, so it's probably not going to translate in the video unless I bump it a little bit, but I definitely want you to hear that. It's pretty darn amazing. How about Midday Mirage?
Really lovely. Lovely. How about on fire? Goodness, they just get better. <laughs> These are so, so, so good. Oh my goodness. I mean, I expected this library to be good because Quantum is a good library, but this is just next level for me. Silence in the Sky. see what's going on under the hood because that sounds like we've got a lot of distortion yep you can see this distortion is being modulated and the saturation so both saturation and distortion are being modulated very interesting and what kind of lfo is that okay it's a triangle interesting that's really really nice okay let's go to swarming diarco maybe Someone put in the comments uh, how I, I keep saying Diarco, but I don't know how it's to say it. Someone help me out in the comments. Really cool. All right, let's try the string matrix. Now that is so interesting. You can see that the LFO here is not that the, uh, how do you say that? The modulation between the two layers is not moving, but the pan, for instance, is going crazy. And you can see it's a random, um, a random waveform. So let me hold that again and just kind of watch the controls here. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, the sound design capabilities in this engine are just really, really great. And it's super easy to use. You know, you can turn each layer on and off easily. You know, if you just want to come up with something on your own and you don't want to tweak and monkey with all of the controls, just hit random. Let's see what happens when I do that. Not only does it randomize the actual settings, it randomizes the source material as well. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay, that one's such a quiet one, we can't hear it. Let's try again. Let's randomize. Now, it's not randomizing the waveform. So you can see with a few clicks, you can come up with something completely different. All right, let's do one more of the infinite pads. 
let's make walking away our last one. Hey, that's that's appropriate. Walking away. I mean, that is just so beautiful. Ugh, these pads, friends, these pads are worth the price of admission all by themselves. If you got nothing else in this library, if you didn't even get the engine and the ability to control it, those pads are worth the price of admission. Those are so good. All right, let's go to the pulses. And we'll notice in the pulses, you know, this, this, engine here, or excuse me, this modulator here is going to bounce back and forth, which is going to give us that pulsing effect. So let's give that a whirl. can see that just easily creates a new pulse, something completely different. Let's try a waking up. I mean, that is going fast. What is that on? Wow. Okay, it's a 16th triplet. Wow, that's really fast. I like that. How about we jump down to forward and back? Really cool. All right, let's hop down to pieces of strings. And let's go to skipping a beat. Ooh, I really like that. I like how they're using the saw wave to just kind of pulse that one instead of moving back and forth, it just kind of cycles from you know, one side to another, just kind of going, woo, I like that. All right, let's do one last one. How about we end with the very last one, unknown ratio. And that, friends, is Violin Textures. Um, I, I highly recommend this one. I like Quantum, but I'm telling you, I think this one's even better, at least for my money. <clears throat> Excuse me, Violin Textures, you know, you get the exact same infinite motion engine as you get in Quantum, but just this source material, these articulations are just fantastic. I mean, moving back a little bit, just to kind of go back to those dimensions, you can see you've got the Tache, Flatando, Normal, um, 
Punta de Arco, again, somebody correct me, Solpont, Soltasto, and Tremolo. Um, and I mean, they're just gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous articulations combined in an easy to use engine with plenty of effects that you can modulate. The possibilities are just really endless. I love the elongated, evolving articulations and the fact that each note is completely independent. It has a completely different playing. It's, it's in the same articulation and playing style, but it's played completely differently. So you just get these really interesting combinations of evolving, long moving textures. Highly recommended. If nothing else, <laughs> if nothing else, friends, buy this one simply for the infinite pads. It is completely worth it in my mind. If you do any kind of scoring work, um, especially for things like documentaries or emotional dramas where you need like long held notes that move and breathe. This is just sonic gold in my mind. And I hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for checking out Violin Textures with me today. So what do you think? Do you enjoy using these kinds of boutique string libraries in your own tracks? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.